this is Julia, and welcome to Convos with Julia, where I answer your questions about what it's like to live life blind. So all the questions I'm going to be answering in this episode were all submitted by you guys through the comments in these videos and through Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you have any other questions you would like to ask me, just leave them in the comments or on any of those social medias, and I will try to answer them in another episode. And with that, let's jump right into the questions. So the first question is, how do I use technology? So this is a question that I get asked a lot because, you know, people may wonder, you know, how I use like computers, phones, stuff like that, all the technology that you would use. Well, let me show you how. Also, just a note, I did talk about how I text in a previous episode, like from a while back of Comments with Julia, but today's episode is going to be focusing on how I use a lot of different forms of technology, not just how I text on my phone. So as you may guess, there are a lot of different ways that I have to learn how to adapt to different technology. So let me start off with the big one, which is my phone. The main thing that I use on my phone in order to like for me to be able to access it better and to be able for it to be accessible is voiceover. So what voiceover is, is it's basically like an, it is an app that I use, it talks to me and it tells me what's on my screen. So when I swipe through my screen with voiceover, it reads out all the different apps and stuff that I have. So let me demonstrate that. I'm gonna just start scrolling through the apps on my homepage, so. Talk, messages, mail, Instagram, FaceTime, phone, YouTube, Heartland, Netflix. So those are all my apps and my phone tells me what the apps are and if I want to go into one of the apps, let's just say I wanna go into Instagram, I would double tap on the app and that opens it up. So let's say I want to call my brother Ben. So I'm going to go into my phone app, phone, open it, double tap. And so now Ben's in my recent. So I'm going to go to recent. I'm already on recent. So I click through. So Ben Jansen, it says mobile. So I click on that. Then I put the phone to my ear and Ben's phone's ringing. I'm just going to end. End call. There we go. I hung up on him. Or wait, now I hung up. All right, so that's how that works. Okay, so there are a few different ways that you can turn voiceover on. So either you go through settings and there's like, you go into accessibility and then one of the options is voiceover. So then you just click on that. But another way you can just, first of all, you could ask Siri, you just say, hey Siri, turn voiceover on. Or what I have is I have it set in my settings that if I triple click the home button, it turns voiceover on or off. So I'm gonna, I'll just demonstrate that. So I just turned it off and now Voiceover on. and now it's back on but that's basically how I you know use apps and stuff on my phone and if you want to see how I text go back and check that other old episode from a while back and the link to that video will be in the description so next I'm gonna show you how I'd use a laptop here I'm just gonna put my phone away so I got an Apple laptop right here and I'm gonna show you how I'd use voiceover on there so to turn it on you just go to settings and through accessibility the exact same way that you would on a phone so basically what I would do with this with this laptop is just press command F5 and that way I can just search up whenever I want to search up. So I also memorize where all the keys are so I can easily just type on it. So let me just get to YouTube. O U T U B E period C O M H T P S colon slash slash www.youtube.com YouTube web content. And if I wanted to watch a video, all I would have to do is click around and it would tell me what videos I was on so I could watch them. So I don't have my computer with me from school right now, but the computer that I use for school is actually a Windows computer and what I use on there, like the accessibility that I use on there is, uh, it's not voiceover, it's a different program, it's called JAWS. It does actually cost money. Quite a bit of it, actually. So here I have my Braille Note Touch, which it's basically like a tablet or a computer, but it's specifically made for the blind. Like, for example, with my phone and with the computer, they have features that make them more accessible, whereas this device is specifically meant for people like me to use. So right when you open it up, you can see all the different braille buttons. And so if you watched my video about how I read and write, you know what those braille buttons are like. So it's basically set up just like a brailler. So right now Ben's holding up the brailler. So you can tell that like the buttons on the brailler are very similar to the buttons on the braille note touch. There's also like this little like section at the bottom where basically that's where the dots come up that I read. So let me show you how I'd read a book. I'm just gonna read like a few sentences out of this book that I have on here. I wake up. Immediately I have to figure out who I am. 
It's not just the body. Opening my eyes and discovering whether the skin on my arm is light or dark, whether my hair is long or short. So as you could probably see, um, as I was reading, the bumps on in front of me, like the dots that I was reading were changing. And that's because when I'm done reading a line, there's a button uh, at the bottom of my, like one of the buttons down the side of my touch that I press and it brings me to the next line of reading. Let's say I'm reading, so I'm reading. If you're used to waking up in a new, and then the next line would feature, because I pressed the button, one each morning. That stuff is on the next line, so I had to press the button to get to the next line. I use this a lot for school, like that's the main thing I use it for. So I'm gonna sort of demonstrate for you how to like open up a school document or something like that. And I'm gonna turn the speech on so that you guys can hear what I'm doing. It's really fast, I don't know how to get it slower. You might not be able to hear, but yeah, you're not gonna be able to understand. But, so I'm going to my word processor. So I'm going to my- understand what that's saying? Yep. How in the world? What did that say? Music volume set to 0% space. How did you understand that? I... It, it takes practice, believe me. I'm just gonna open one of my documents. So I go into word processor, that's one of the choices. And then it asks me options create or open or print. So I can go open. And so I'm going to my folder for school, my law folder, opening one of my assignments. And it just... And this is my assignment, like it says assignment complete this following and then it has like a whole bunch of yeah so i just went after one of my questions on my assignment this isn't has nothing to do with the actual assignment but i'm just going to write in something here so i'm going to write down this is my demonstration there we go so if you want to know more like more detailed information about how i actually like read and write then you can go check out the previous episode where I talk about reading and writing. The link to that episode will also be in the description. Also, a lot of the other technology that we have in our house is pretty accessible. For example, we have one of those Google Home things where basically you can just ask Google to do whatever. Like you could say, hey Google, what's the weather? Or hey Google, play this music, stuff like that. I really like that because it makes it just as easy for me to use it as it would be for my family to use it. We also have like an Apple TV. So we use an Apple TV remote and the Apple TV remote actually has Siri on it. I can just press it the Siri button ask it to do whatever I want. For example, I could just press it and say, hey Siri, play Friends season two, episode three. And then it would, oh, it actually beeped. I don't know what it's doing. Maybe it's gonna play it upstairs. <laughs> I wonder if it will. I wonder if it can reach that far. So those were all the questions for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the subscribe button and hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload a new video. So you can click the video icon at the top right corner if you want to see my last episode and click the video icon at the bottom if you want to see a playlist of all the combos that I've done so far. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!